You are a concentrated version of your ancestors and humanity. It took a lot to bring you here, to exist as you do now, and to be viewing this. Don't waste it. Your life is very valuable. It cannot be lived by anybody else but yourself, and it is limited to a certain scope. If it was not limited, then you would have multiple lives as the same person. And while I believe in reincarnation, there's only one person that's going to be you, that you are. And the choices that you make are going to be inevitably tied to things that you think. Push aside all those things that are materialistic. Push aside all those feelings of pain of what you've gone through. Understand them, look at them, understand them, and then move on. Not so much growing calluses as much as learning from them so that you may walk in a different way. Everything here is meant to educate us, to make us understand. But human beings, we have the folly of Personalized egotism. We have egos. They are useful for, you know, figuring out exactly who we are and how we progress. But we champion the ego in our minds and in our being so much that we no longer identify with the infinite that is just at the center of our being. Whatever you do in life, you know, I've been somebody who has been on the brink of suicide and tried more than a few times years and years back before, you know, I really got on my spiritual path. Um, but at those times I was very concerned with how I looked from other people's vantage points, um, the happiness or sadness I was experiencing, attaching myself desperately to happiness when it's not always reasonable to expect the ultimate happiness in most circumstances and someone who was confused as far as what it means to live a human life to just be a human i had these things all mixed up and jumbled and i, I couldn't figure out any one of these things and be the best version of the outcomes or the spectrums of all these things that I'm mentioning. Um, it was only later when I realized that happiness and sadness, um, circumstance, um, and a want not being fulfilled or a desire not being fulfilled, all these things are irrelevant. The human being that we are is one that must work for its highest self, not its lowest self. If we're materialistically inclined, adjusted, um, in tune with, then it is very likely that we will not see any kind of individuality within ourselves. We will not be able to see how we can become more than we are, progress, and how we will often always be jealous or envious of those who have what we think we want. But there's no end to want. Satisfaction, contentment, it can exist no matter what you have or in any state. Easy to say, I know. Hard to feel, to realize, to, to be. I'm not really bashing anybody saying, you know, if you don't have this or that, you should just be content with what you have. It's more understand contentment, work for what you want, who you want to be, but understand that this moment is yours to decide upon your own consciousness, your own perspective. You are valuable. There's a lot of people that think that, you know, every thought has been thought before. Every person um, must follow one of the paths that have existed in the past. There are people that believe that. Um, I'm a believer in individuality. Of following your heart. 
and your logic, but mainly your heart. What does it, deep inside your heart, where there is no fear, where there is no like, I, I need this, I need that, or no lamenting about your state, in the deepest part of your heart, there is individuality. There is the ability and the existence of seeing past other people's conception of your journey and things that we've learned in spiritual, religious books, what have you. Individuality is a path of steps. Sure, we might be all going towards the same direction. We might all be going to the same direction, to the same source, but do not discount yourself as being an individual who can choose his his or her steps. Or do not discount that your experience is just as important as everybody else's. Even when people tell you, you know, everybody has experiences, but you are the only one that have your experiences. Use your love for yourself and your willingness to change to become someone that you have designed and not somebody else has designed. That you've become at peace with, not that other people, not what other people expect you to, to be at peace with. You're valuable, you're important just as anybody else. Choose your path. Choose your path and be that person that you want to be deep down, not past all the layers of BS. Be the person that you want to be. At any rate, thank you very much for watching. I hope all of you have enjoyed this and I really hope that it helped. Um, this has been uh, Be the Person That You Want to Be. And all of you, have a wonderful day.